Hello everyone, Kevin here. Uh, today is going to be a really quick tutorial. I had a couple people asking about um, utilizing Pixera specifically with BitFocus Companion. BitFocus Companion. So uh, I got Companion and I have Pixera. So let's make them uh, let's make them talk. So I'm just going to go ahead and build a generic screen in Pixera. I will come to my programming page. Uh, here's a little tip for you, by the way. If you select multiple media assets and drop them in on one layer, it will automatically create the, uh, the cues for you. Sweet. Uh, I have another video, of course, that talks about all the basic use cases of Pixera. So I'm going to add um, pause markers before each one. I am utilizing the latest beta of Pixera, but that's perfectly fine. All right, let's see. Pause. I might change these to play clips later. Who knows? Not me. Not really important. And pause. Great. So I've built my basic show of Pixera. And I am ready to uh, control it with Companion. So let me go ahead and open up Companion. And I'm also using um, 3.99.03. Uh, this is available in all versions though. So I can go down to add connection and sure enough there is an AV Stumpful Pixera. Uh, I can of course search if I wanted to, but I'll just go ahead and add it here. So I'm going to add Pixera and right off the bat saying there's a bad configuration. Uh, the takeaway is two actions need to occur. One, I need to of course route it to the correct IP address. Uh, I am using my local loopback adapter for companion, but this works of course with wired or wireless. But more importantly, within Pixera, I need to set Pixera up to be listening for commands from Companion. To do so, I'm going to go to the settings page. And I'm going to go to the left side where it says API. So one note about Companion, according to this, it says that we're going to be using JSON TCP IP uh, API. So I do have that as protocol number two, but I'm a lazy. I'm just going to change protocol number one because I want port 1400. So I'm going to change that to, see, I didn't even pay attention, uh, JSON TCP. I'm going to change it to JSON TCP, and I'm going to set the IP address to be my local loopback. Uh, if I was using um, wired or wireless, I would use my IP address for that. Here, I'm using the local loopback. So I'm going to set this uh, here to be my loopback adapter. Groovy. So once again, I set API 1 to JSON TCP, set my input network adapter to uh, my local loopback. 1400 and uh, I'll set this now to be 1.2 uh, 127.0.0.1 save and look at that it's all connected yay so now at this point I'm going to go create a button just to test my workflow I will just do the uh, do this I'll do this last button here oh I'll do the upper right hand corner so I can simply create button and now I can add a button action. I'm going to do Pixera. And let's just do a very basic next queue. That way I can at least know what, you know, if I just need to jump queues. So next queue, that's set here. Let's go to my compositing page. And let's see if I can do both of these on one window. So I have this, and I'm going to hit test action. Uh, here we go. Let's see. And that is not working at all. Uh, let's, oh, here's an important note. One thing I have to do within Pixar, I have to tell it to route to timeline one. Uh, normally I would edit that out, but that's a pretty important one. So I'm going to keep that in this video. So to take away, I create the action, tell it to route to timeline one. Oh, it should work. So let's scroll up. Boom, boom, boom. It's hard to see, but here in the background, I am going between my next queues. So for example, I'll be on Q1. All right, let's stand by, let's jump to the next queue. Boom, I'm at the next queue. Boom, I'm at the next queue. Boom, I'm at the next queue, nice. Uh, so just to test this again, let's create another button. We'll do Pixera, and I believe there is a previous queue. I can even blend to previous queue. How fancy is that? Uh, so you're going to see that there are, uh, let's do previous queue. 
And once again, timeline one. And let's test it. Test, test. Sweet. So now I'm able to jump between next queue and previous queue. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Super cool. Uh, so this is not using Pixar Control, which I have another video for. It's purely with Companion. Um, but let's do a really funky one. Let's set up a queue. I'm going to set this as a play queue at this point. Let's do queue. Uh, I'll just delete it. All right, so I have my new play marker here. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, video five. I'm going to set the video to be a free loop. I'm going to do a pause marker at the end. Uh, da, 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 da. Sweet. All right. So I'll have my show going on over here. And now I'm going to create a blend to queue to go to queue number five. So let's see if I can make that work. Uh, let's see. I'll just do it with this button here. And yes, you should be labeling your buttons, but hey, whatever. All right, Pixera, let's do blend to queue. And now we're going to tell it to go to timeline one. Uh, the queue name I think I said was, da, 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 what did I say, video five? Organization's the key to success, folks. Video five. Video five, and let's blend this in. Uh, 30 frames just so it's very exaggerated. All right, cool. So theoretically, if I did this right, I'll be playing over here. I'm gonna test this cue. And there's the blend, nice. So to recap, this is using BitFocus Companion with the Pixera uh, module. Creating just a couple basic buttons here. Um, remember this Pixera control if you wanna go really crazy. But this is just some uh, down and dirty Quick programming for a corporate event takeaway though, go to API, make sure it's set to JSON TCP, port 1400 and the correct IP address, and you should have a good time. Uh, as always, happy Pixera-ing.